Mark, you're rolling. And you're William's sister. Oh, no, no. Uh, I'm William's ex-wife. Ex-wife. These are my children okay. and William's children. Yeah, yeah. Rita, Rita Walker. Got it. Okay. Okay. So, guys, do you mind just say and spell your name so we have it, please? Yeah, M E L O D Y. Melody. I yeah, Melody. Mm -hmm. And Chris is common spelling. C H R I S. Yes. Okay. <coughs> you called this. I'm gonna just have you just start with what is it that you want want to say on the heels of this this announcement? It's been two years almost. Yeah. Um. So we just basically wanted to say that um, we are all in shock as a family. Um, we have known Loma Curry for eight years. Her and my dad were together. And so she was like a second mom to my brother and I. And so we are just shocked and distraught. Uh, my father did not deserve this at all. He was such a great man, a great role model to so many people in Cleveland. Um, and we also just wanted to say that like, my dad would want us to you know, move forward and, you know, just try to, I guess, find light in the situation. Um, yeah, our dad was a big part of our lives and um, we miss him every single day. Um, um, I think about him a lot um, during my um, daily just being in school and such um, because he always motiv motivated me to, um, to continue to strive to be better and we're sad and we just want to um, express how we feel in this is there, time. Is there anger? Not for me. Um, I don't know about the. Um, I mean, I think it's us. just sad, just sadness, yeah. because we were all in shock. We had no idea that uh, Loma was behind everything. And, and I think it's heard. I yeah, think it's heard because they were. Do you want to step up a little bit? Yeah, just, because they, yes. they, uh, like I said, like they said, she's been in their lives for many years, and she was a, like a stepmom to them for those many years, and so none of us would have ever guessed that anything like this would be the outcome. So, you know, nobody, you know, we just wanted to just let everybody know how close William was with his, his children. And it's a, a huge loss for our family. It's a huge loss. He would take them on trips every year. They were at his house all the time. You know, it's just, it's a huge loss. And so we were just, we're just devastated. We're just devastated. Do you have any insight at all into why? No, we, we don't have any insight as to why. I mean, we're, we're just as shocked as yeah. the, the rest of the, the city, you know. Yeah. We're just as shocked. So what is a, a, a fair punishment if she is in fact guilty? I mean, I think just just jail for life. <laughs> for life. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, it's just, we, we hope for the max, but I mean, we're, you know, we, we, we won't bring him back, you know what yeah. I mean? It won't bring him back, yeah. so, you know, whatever the case. A couple reports said ex-wife, they were still married when this happened? Yeah. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. All right. I know this isn't easy, but is there anything else that you want? You said so many good things, and that helped so much for us to get that kind of a window into the people who knew and loved him best. Yeah. So thank you a thousand times. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Um, just anyone who's in a similar situation to just keep their head up and um, just to continue to move forward. Like, I know that my father would want us all to do at this time. You know, that's twice that you said that Melody and, I mean, is that how your father was? I mean, yes. it's a very positive, I mean, this is terrible. I mean, for you guys to come yeah. out here is, you know, you're saying you're sad, but you guys seem pretty strong. I mean, is that something you take away from Dad? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, our father was always very positive. Um, he never let things get him down for too long. He always tried to keep his head up and move forward. 
And so I guess that's what we're striving to do as a family is just and keep his legacy going. So like for me, continue to go to school in New York for Chris to he wants to do engineering. So we're just trying to keep his legacy going. How old are you? I'm 20. 20? Yeah. And Chris, how old are you? I'm 16. Um, and you want to go into engineering? Yeah, software development. Yeah. What's a 16 year old at? 11th grade or 10th grade? Um, I'm in 12th grade. 12th grade okay. I started school early. Yeah. Yeah, I was a <laughs> wow. yeah they're both amazing kids. And, and again, and that can, again, be credited directly to their dad. You know, although we were not married, we, you know, we were divorced, but we worked together with our kids. You know, we, we and he, you know, he always taught them to just reach for the sky you know there's no there's no ceilings in his world you know and i think he passed that on to our kids so they, they've been amazing through this whole thing you know no you know their grades are still amazing and you know they're, they're just still just moving forward so still making them proud well, what legacies he left in you guys thank you so much okay thank you thank you, thank you.